Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review, spoiler free, of uh, Stranger Things Season 2. Uh, full disclosure, I didn't watch Stranger Things, the original one, initially when it came out. I watched it later and you know, after I heard all the big hubbub and I really liked it, so uh, naturally I wanted to watch this, so I waited till today because I went to the movies yesterday, so I binge watched it today. I actually, I always intended on watching a couple episodes and trying to spread it out, but I got caught up in it and I just watched it from beginning to end all day today and I really really enjoyed it and love the characters and this movie of course takes place I think a year later I think I'm assuming I'm at don't quote me directly on that but uh, of course it's about the four friends you know Mike, Dustin, Lucas and Will and of course at the events of the last season of course Will who wasn't in that season because of the you know circumstances of that season he's in this movie in this version of it a lot more and I have to say, uh, the young kid actors do a great job, as well as some of the adults as well. And I really uh, like what they did with uh, certain characters. Again, like I said, Will, who wasn't in season one that much, but is in this season a lot. Uh, he gets the uh, young actor, uh, I believe his name is Noah Ship Snap. He gets to really show you he can act. He really gets put through the ringer, <laughs> literally, in this movie. And he is absolutely fantastic. You feel for his characters so much. And, of course, you have Mike, uh, played by Finn Wolfhard, who was in, of course, It. Uh, in this movie, he's more of a supporting player in this version of uh, this season. He's more of a supporting player, whereas in the first one, he was more tied to the central plot. In this one, he's more of a supporting player. And, of course, you have uh, Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven. Uh, I liked her character in the original, and I really liked what they did with her character in this season, and I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what they did with her character, but she's around, and I like what they did with her character in this season. And uh, and the young actress, I think, is really good because he gets to play a little, a little bit more uh, with a little bit more emotions in this season, in this season, which I really appreciated. And of course, David Harbour, who plays Jim Hopper, the sheriff, uh, he plays an integral role, of course, in this season as well. And I think again, David Harbour does a great job as well, and as well as Winona the writer is uh, Joyce Byers, the mother of Will, and she again, she's dating a new guy played by Sean Astin, you know, trying to move on with her life, and again, she is fantastic as uh, the mother who's worried about her child and stuff, being overprotective, but really good, and but also at the same time trying to lead a, you know, trying to move on and and you know, lead a normal life, and of course, uh, a character I have to mention. Uh, uh, Steve Harrington, played by Joe Carey, uh, his character, I really, uh, his character really turned out to be a lot more, his character had the most growth, I think, in season one, and it continues on in this season. They, instead of making his character a cliche, they really actually get him to actually play a, a, a character that you actually sympathize with, and he actually, does, he does a really good job. He doesn't play just this the, you know, the, the stuck up boy that, and again, you saw that in season one, he was more than just the, the quote, jock, you know, popular jock dating the hot girl, the hot girl and all that stuff. He, he had a lot more layers to that and he, and that continues on in this uh, season and it really, uh, I have to give credit to the writers and the actor, he does a really good job at Steve Harrington uh, and you'll see that when you watch this, you'll understand what I mean when you see it. He, he does a really good job and of course, the two young <laughs> actors I really really liked out of the, the foursome there. Uh, uh, Dustin and Lucas, uh, <laughs> played by Gatton Maserazzo and Caleb McLaughlin. Uh, again, Lucas's character, you get to see him more, actually, they actually give him more to do in this season. And uh, and also Dustin, too, as well. I think they give the, their, their characters, they get a little bit more more story to them. And uh, it's really, really good. And the young actors pull it off. Uh, again, uh, they do a really good job with it, and of course they add a new character into this mix, a character named Max, uh, played by Sadie Sink. I thought she was a really good addition to the cast, and she brings a lot to the table, uh, and I thought she did a good job as well. And of course, you have Paul Reiser, he plays a doctor who's trying to help uh, Will overcome his experiences uh, from last season. He's in it as well. And I also, oh, let me mention, okay, okay Charlie Eaton and Natalie Dyer, who played Nancy Wheeler, and of course, and Jonathan Byers, and you saw her last year, where they, you know, they sort of got that friendship, and it continues on in this version of it, and it's, they do a good job with it. Although, like I said, I don't, they don't go the typical route with these characters, which I think is really 
credit to the writers and the producers of the show. They really actually give their characters later instead of making them a stereotype. Even though there is one character uh, in here called Billy, who's his Max sister, a new character. Uh, he's the like the, the new hot new guy that <laughs> shows up in town, a total badass who basically mistreats his sister and and you think his, his character character is a basically a cliche, the bad boy who's doesn't care about anything anyone, but I think his character has a certain layer. Uh, and I like the way the actor played it. This guy was in the Power Rangers movie. He played, uh, I forgot his character, but he played the, the primary ranger, but I forgot what his name was. I forgot which character, but uh, played by Darcy Montgomery, an Australian guy. And he's really good uh, as his character, Billy. Uh, and I think this character, you'll see more of his layers, I think, in the next series. Although, like I said, in this character, he plays the perfect douchebag. He plays it perfectly well. Okay, so you definitely, uh, yeah, he's a really good actor, and I think you're going to see more of his character, just like how the character of Steve Harrington wasn't just a, you know, stuck up, you know, jock. He was a lot more than him than that. I think there's a lot more, and they kind of show you a little bit of it in this series uh, for his character, Billy, and I think he'll, that'll play a part, part in probably in the next series that they do. But overall, the overall plot, the theme of this story, of them trying to help Will and stuff, I thought it was really well done. Nice pace, nice suspension. My only, there was one episode that they kind of, they kind of, well, I know a lot, of, a lot of people didn't like it. I heard a lot of people didn't like it, but I didn't mind it at all. It just gives you more backstory, I think, to, to a certain character. So I didn't mind, mind it at all. I don't think it took away from the narrative at all to me. I really enjoyed that episode. I think it was episode seven is the one I'm thinking about. But overall, I really enjoyed this. And this is, uh, again, you have to give credit to the creators. They did a really good job uh, the story, and uh, you have to give them credit. The uh, Matt Duffer and Ross Duffer, the Duffer brothers, I guess, but they they did a really good job with the first series, and they did it continues on with this series. So I can't wait to see what they do with the third series. I think they did a great, fantastic job, and I definitely highly recommend it. And definitely uh, check it out. Um, anyway, uh, I'm, overall, I'm gonna give this uh, series, series season two. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it a lot. I like that you got to see more of the characters and you got, like I said, Mike was more prominent, you know, in the uh, first season, but this season he's kind of, he kind of takes a step back. Will is more prominent in this season because uh, the actor is physically here. <laughs> and then, of course, Dustin and Lucas, they get more to do, which is good. You know, so, and then again, they show Steve Barrington. I really like what they did with that character. They, he really, the actor is really good and they make him more than just a stereotypical jock, which I think is really good and smart on the, the part of the creators. So anyway, overall, I really enjoyed it. Eight out of 10 for me. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Stranger Things season two. What do you think of it? Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. And if you like this review, please hit the subscribe button down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram. And there's Chris and Bach, as well as my other channel, called Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.